Our class today is about balance three phase delta to y connection. So, what is balance three phase delta to y connection? It's a balanced delta to y connect system consists of a balanced connected delta connected source feeding a balanced y connected loop. So remember that you have source line and loop so in this case your source will be in delta connection so you have line and loop in y connection so let's take a look the example for circuit for delta to y connection so this one is delta this one is y So you have source, line, and loop. So this is the related formula to delta to y connection in balanced three-phase system. In this case, you will might need to calculate the phase voltage, phase current, line voltage, line current. In this case, phase voltage and line voltage, you can use the same formula here. For the line current and line phase, they are the same. You can use the same formula. Let's take a look for example. A balance Y Connected load with a phase impedance of 40 plus J25 ohm here is supplied by a balanced positive sequence. Okay, remember that positive sequence you have 0, negative 120, positive 120. Delta connected source with a line voltage of 210 volt. Calculate the phase current, use VAB as a reference. If it's given to you 200 tens, means that it's 200 tens at the angle of 0 degree book. Now, take a look for the answer. So, this is the related formula that I gave it to you before. The load's impedance, in this case, you only have one impedance at the loop. So, ZY is equal to 40 plus J25. You can use the conversion rectangular to polar. As shown in my previous video. After you convert them using your calculator, you get the answer for ZY or Z impedance total. 47.17 at the angle of 32 degree. Once you get the ZY, then look back for the information given before. VAB is given by 210 at the angle of 0 volt. For the calculation, VAN is equals to VAB over set 3 at the angle of 30 degrees. Say. This one, you calculate this, you got VAB, this one is one, sorry, 210 at the angle of 0 over set 3 at the angle of negative 30 degrees. Say. You got 121.2 at the angle of negative 30 degrees C. So, you already calculate the VAN by taking VAB as a reference. Then, you calculate the line current. Line current is given by VAN over ZY. Is equals to VAN, you can use this one to here. 1 to 1.2 at the angle of negative 30 degrees C over total impedance is here. 
So you got 121.2 divided by 47.12. You got 2.57 at the angle of negative 30 degrees C. Negative 32, you got 62 ampere. Then you can calculate the IB. IB is equal to IA at the angle of negative 120 degrees C. Here. So you can use this one back here. 2.57 at the angle of 62, negative 120 degrees C for positive sequence. So you get 2.57, same magnitude, different angle, negative 178 degree ampere. After that, you can calculate the IC. IC is equal to IA at the angle of 120 degree plus so you take back the value for ia 2.57 at the angle of negative 62 degree times 120 degrees so you get 2.57 at the angle of 58 degree ampere so this is example for delta to y connection Thank you.